Hello Traders. In this short video, I will show you how to use the Portfolio Backtester 2.0 to automate portfolio testing in MetaTrader 4. Unlike ordinary backtesting, which basically tests a single strategy on a given time frame and symbol, a portfolio test is executed across multiple strategies, symbols and time frames. Running portfolio tests by hand is very tedious and time consuming. The Portfolio Backtester 2.0 will automate all the portfolio testing for you. In order to run the tool, download the zip file that was provided to you after your purchase into a dedicated folder. Next, extract the contents of the zip file into the same folder. Right click Extract here. And as a result, the Portfolio Backtester 2.0.exe will be placed into this folder. Now execute this file. If you run the tool for the first time, you will be prompted for the license key. You will find your license key in the email that you have received after your purchase. Please go ahead and enter the license key and click validate. This will open the main window of the tool. In order to run a portfolio test, you first need to specify the MT4 installation which should be used to execute your test. Click on the Browse button and navigate to your MT4 installation folder. Typically, your MT4 installation will be on your C drive under Program Files. And in my case it is called FXCM MetaTrader 4 Test and click OK. Next, you specify the start and the end date of your test. So let's choose um, December 1st, 2018, up until today, which is January 12, 2019. Next, you specify the test mode, which can be either every tick, control points, or open prices only. For best results, you should always use every tick. Next, you specify the folder and the file name into which the test results should be written. By default, the folder is the installation folder of the MT4 Portfolio Backtester and the file name is called results.csv. Next, you specify your portfolio test cases. Every portfolio test case consists of an EA, which is your automated strategy, a configuration file for your strategy, a set of symbols and a set of timeframes. In order to illustrate this further, let me open up the MT4 installation, which will be used to execute this test. In MT4, if you navigate to the navigation panel under Expert Advisors, you see all the automated strategies that are available in your MT4 installation. In my case, there are many because I developed these professionally. Now, if you open up the Strategy Tester by going to View, Strategy Tester, you will find the same set of EAs in this drop-down list here. Now let's pick an EA to test. In my case, I will pick Rob Booker's Finch Robot. So I will go down to Finch. Finch. And I will click on Expert Properties. Here I specify which parameters should be used to run the Finch robot. I can adjust the parameters. So for example, I will change the position size to a bigger value and perhaps the pips to trade two also to a different value. And once I'm satisfied with my parameters, I will click Save to save these settings in a so-called preset file. Now I'll give it a name. In my case, Finch config1, and I will click Save. Next, let me change these, these parameters one more time. In this case, I will change um, the candles back to 20, and perhaps I want to add a stop loss to my Finch of um, five dollars, perhaps. And uh, the first trade to profit dollars, I will increase this value to two dollars and the second trade to ten dollars. And I will click save one more time to save these parameters in a different config file. In this case, I will choose 
finchconfig2. I'll click save one more time and OK. Now let's go back to the portfolio tester and first I will refresh the EA and preset settings by clicking the browse button up here again and navigating one more time to the MT4 installation folder. This is needed for the tool to reread the set of uh, configuration settings that we just added. I will click OK. We now go to the EA combo box, navigate down to Finch, and in the preset settings we choose our first configuration file. If you remember, we called it Finch config1. Next we choose all the symbols on which we would like to run the Finch. In this case, I'll choose the Australian Canadian dollar, the Euro USD, the British pound USD, and maybe a couple of others. I will also choose the time frames on which I would like to run this Finch. In this case, I'm interested in the M1 and the M5 time frame. This completes the first portfolio test case. In our case, the portfolio back tester will run the Finch robot in this configuration on six different symbols and for each symbol it will execute the robot on two different time frames, the M1 and the M5 time frame. We will now go ahead and add a second portfolio test case to our test run. In order to add a second test, we click on the plus button here. This will collapse our first test and will open up a blank specification. We once again choose Finch. In this case, we'll pick our second configuration. We choose our symbols. I will just randomly choose them. And we choose our time frames. So in this case, we may test Finch on M1, M5, and perhaps M15. We can remove the portfolio test case by clicking the remove test button here. So for example, we made a mistake and we would like to remove the first one, we simply click this button. If you would like to review a test case which is collapsed, simply click this arrow and the information will be displayed. You can add as many portfolio test cases as you like by simply clicking this plus button here. And you're also not restricted to always use the same EA. For example, as my third portfolio test case, I could choose a different robot. Let's see the ATR Scalper. And I choose a preset for the Scalper as my 5% um, preset. And I can choose different symbols and different time frames. Once I'm happy with my specification, I will click the Run Test button to have the portfolio tester execute those tests. So I click Run Tests. I will see there's an error message here, no symbol selected. Okay, so let's review. And as we can see here, we didn't specify a symbol for the ATR scalper. So let's pick AUD cat and perhaps uh, GBB cat. Click one test again. Once again, we'll get an error message. And this time it will inform us that no time frame is selected. So once again, we go back to our third specification, the ATL scalper, and select at least one time frame. So in this case, M1. And we click one test again. Another error message pops up. In this case, the back tester informs us that MT4 is still running. In order to execute the portfolio test, you must close the MT4 installation, which is meant to execute your tests. In this case, it's still running. So I go ahead and close it. And now I will click Run Test one more time. And finally, all the conditions are fulfilled and the test will commence. As the test is executed, the intermediate test results are written in this output window. And you can also see the progress at this progress bar here. In this case, we have completed seven out of 32 individual tests. Once the portfolio test completes, a summary will be shown. In this case, we can see that uh, the portfolio profit was minus $2,300. The profit factor was below one. The drawdown was relatively low at 1.96%. And we executed a total of 2,156 trades.
we also see that the results CSV file was written to this location here. Now let's go ahead and open up the CSV file. By default, the results file is written into the same folder as the MT4 portfolio backtester installation. Let's go ahead and open this file. If you have Excel installed, the file will be opened in Excel. And once opened, you'll see that for each individual test case, a bunch of data is listed. Let's take a closer look. First, I'll expand the columns so we can see clearly what's inside. Let me now highlight the first row and select filters. Alright, so for each test run, we'll see the start and the end date, which will be the same in every case. We'll see the test mode, we'll see which strategy slash EA was executed. In this case, we executed the Finch for the first two test specifications, and we then we executed the ATR scalper. We see the configurations that were used, so Finch config 1, Finch config 2, and a config for the ATR scalper. We see the symbols on which the EAs were executed along with the timeframes. For each symbol we also see the default spread that was used for those symbols. And later on I will show you how to set or change these default spreads in the portfolio backtester. We'll see the PNL for every test run, the drawdown, the drawdown in dollars, the profit factor and the number of trades executed. We can use the filters to further examine the output. So for example, if we're interested how well our Finch config 1 did, we can simply select and filter for this config 1. Now we only see the rows for config 1. And if we highlight, let's say, the PNL, we see that uh, for config 1, we made a profit of $192. If we select config 2, we'll see that we config 2 actually lost us money. We lost $2,486. Let's have a look for the ATR scalper. We can see here that here we also lost $53. And you can select, uh, if we clear the symbols here, for example, we can also filter by symbol. So let's say we're interested in how well we did for EURUSD. We simply select the symbol, and we see all the test cases for EURUSD, and we can see here that we made a profit of $91 for EURUSD. If we change the symbol, for example, uh, GBPUSD, we see that uh, for GBPUSD we made a profit of $39.6. So this is how you can use the filters to further analyze the results file. Before we conclude this video, let's go back one more time to the portfolio backtester. And I will show you how to adjust and customize the symbols and their spreads. In order to change the list of symbols, which are given to you by default, which may be, may be needed because you want to test a symbol which is not listed, or maybe you want to remove some of these symbols as they do not apply to your MT4 installation. You simply go to the main menu, to Settings, you click Manage Symbols. This will open up a table in which all the symbols which are currently specified are listed, along with their default spreads. So if you want to change the spreads, you can simply um, edit the spreads here. If you want to add a new symbol, just add it at the end. So let's say we may want to add Brent or let's see crude oil um, with a spread of perhaps 30. We can simply add it here. You can also delete symbols by highlighting them, right click and select delete, which will delete these symbols. Finally, you press OK and the updated list of symbols will be shown. So you can see here crude is now listed in our list of symbols. This brings this video to an end. I hope you see the utility of the portfolio backtester. This tool helps you to batch automate a set of tests, which otherwise you would have to perform manually one by one, which is very time consuming. I wish you good luck in your trading.